Hello everyone, welcome to Twins Talk. It was a really difficult time and chaotic for many of us. Uh, but we are starting over again and I have many projects I want to show you in the next months. 2020 was a little bit different. Many of my projects just got cancelled. But uh, I'm starting over and uh, I will start with this one. This is a support cleaning apparatus from Stratasys and you can just dissolve your support material in here. I will show you how this thing works and then we are going to build our own for under 100 euros. So stay tuned and find out more here at Twins Talk. So before we can build one of these our own, we have to see how this actually works. You may have seen these spools from Stratasys. This is the support material which is soluble. It's called QSR support or SR30, SR35, SR100 and so on for the printer you actually have. And then you have this concentrate which is actually sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide. You can put this into this washing machine. It gets up to the heat you need like 70 75 degrees celsius and circulates this suspension so the material can get dissolved i will show you how this thing looks inside let's see and uh, as you can see here it has a gasket where you can put in your parts and then there is a white piece here that's the nozzle and I will just get this out. As you can see here, there is a heating element. There is uh, the nozzle and the net for the pump. And uh, the water is just getting pumped into, yeah, through the pump and going out from the nozzle, heated up by the heating element to the temperature you can control over here. And this will help dissolving the support material. Looking into the tank, we see that there is not much technology in there. We have a heating element, we have a nozzle, we have a pump, and also we have the temperature control. So if you want to build one of these tanks our own, we will have to buy all of these separately and get it into one box. Doing some research, I found something which actually has all of these parts integrated into one and you can use this to cook meat. I don't know if you have seen this before but I didn't. This is called a sous vide stick. You just dial in the temperature in here and how long it should cook your meat and then you just put it into water and let it circulate. Everything is in there. There is a heating element there is some kind of an impeller to circulate the water and there is uh, the temperature control in there. So actually our do-it-yourself project is just sticking this into some kind of a tank and let the support material removal stuff circulate in there. So we will see if this works out. Before you buy one of these sous vide sticks, we have to look into the difference of these things because one of these will work for what we are going to do and one will not. If we look at the kitchen boss one you can see that this is stainless steel and we can just screw this off and see the heating element and the thermocouplers and the impeller here and all of this is made of stainless steel. This is what we need actually. I will show you what the other one is made of This one from Klarstein um, actually is stainless steel here, but in this element there is aluminium in there. I will just show you the heating elements and you have to be sure that the one you're going to buy does not have aluminium in there. Because uh, sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate will um, dissolve aluminium so I will show you this one this was the one I was I bought the first that's the first one and you can see that these heating elements here 
are made out of aluminium. And if we put this into the tank with sodium hydroxide, for example, this will get dissolved and we will not be able to use it. So just for you to know, you have to buy one with complete stainless steel here and without any aluminium. So I just bought the Klarsteiner first. I uh, checked what was in there and saw that it's from aluminium. So I got one from Kitchen Boss. It showed in the pictures that it's made of stainless steel in there. So I went with this one and this is the only one which works. So if you buy one of these types, check if we have aluminium in there. This is everything we are going to need. I used an aquarium for the tank and it's a 10 to 12 liter one. It costs around 10 to 15 euros. You can also use these storage boxes, but I just went with the glass one with the aquarium. It just looks more polished and nice. I got this storage box where I cut these foams to isolate the aquarium. It just goes in here. I also used some felt to get the play or the, the, the space here uh, out. And uh, we just connect or we just uh, assemble this, uh, how you say it, adapter onto the tank and put in the stick. That's it actually. I have also bought one of these lids here and cut it out with my CNC mill. You will see how I did this in the next few minutes and it will just look like this. And uh, we're going to put in water in here and uh, the soluble support concentrate and uh, see if this works as planned. I have put uh, water into the tank, uh, removed it from the box, uh, so we don't have any thermal insulation right now, but you can see what's happening inside. And I will just uh, get in the Waterworks soluble concentrate. Uh, this should be for 10 liters, around one third of this bottle. I'm using my safety glasses here and also my gloves. Let's put this thing onto circulation. Uh, you always have to put this into the tank when it is in cold state, I think. So just read the safety instructions. And I'll just start this thing here. And as you can see, the bubbles came up and it's circulating.
So back at the action, it just gave us gave us a, a peeping sound. It's at 75 degrees Celsius now, and uh, it took around 35, 37 minutes to heat up to the temperature. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to cut one meter of this support material for testing and put it into this small stainless steel, I don't know how you call this uh, thingy. And then we will submerge it into our tank and see if we can have it dissolved and how long it will take. Let's see, one meters. That's okay. We will do some test prints, of course. And I will also have a new episode where we will just test out not only the stratasys soluble concentrate, but also some other companies like 3D Wash. And we will also mix our own um, concentrate to see if uh, they perform the same way or if one of these is better. Let's see. I will just put this in there and we may see it if it's on one of these edges. We'll just let it go there. Let's see. The filament, I can see the filament through the glass, that's great. Let's see if we can focus on that. Put the camera. And do a zoom. Let's see. Yes, I can see it in here, just fine. And the focus is okay. So we'll just wait and see how long this will take. I had set a timer and this thing just shut off after an hour and I was checking the box uh, now and then and it uh, started great with dissolving the filament and uh, checking the box here after 60 minutes there's nothing left this was just uh, uh, one meter of support material and uh, it's completely dissolved so this is just working fine i also have to check if this sous vide stick is uh, somehow damaged we will see if anything in there was not stainless steel. We have to check. If anything got dissolved in the process. It was only an hour and there's 
nothing I can say about dissolving of other materials than the filament. There is some kind of a whitish material on there, but that's just the residual of residue, sorry, the residue of the material, the concentrate. So, this just worked as expected and how I had liked this to be. I will put everything together into the box and tell you some more thoughts on this and what I am going to do in the next episodes. Test just finished and everything looks great so far. I will keep you all up to date if there will be any leakage or other problems with the sous vide stick. And as you all can see, this is a simple project. The only thing you would need is some kind of a storage box. You will need a lid. Uh, I used some styrofoam to have the thermal insulation for the aquarium we have in there. And you will also need a sous vide stick. All in all, this does not cost more than 100 euros and uh, I'm pleased with how this worked all out and I will do more tests on uh, specific concentrates. So we are going to use the Stratasys one, we're going to test this one. Then we are going to test 3D wash concentrate, this is another company. And uh, I will also mix my own concentrate with sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide. There are also some dishwashing tabs uh, which I may try and I will tell you all which of these are the best in performance and maybe which is the cheapest one. So stay tuned and find out more here at Twinstock. See you soon in the next episode.